Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Food Junkie coming at you with another little video. Um, I was thinking about this whole celebrity scandal thing and what's going on with it, the outcome and things like that. So I want to talk about that for a little bit on this channel right now. Um, I made a video about the celebrity scandal and how I think it's unfair and how it um, hurt chances of people of underprivileged, be it you know, minorities, be it people of low income and things of that nature, how what they did is something that reflects the poor character and integrity of these parents. But also, let me talk about the children right now, because, well, the children and the men that are involved. And what bothers me about this college scandal that's going on right now is that we're only focusing on the two celebrity women who this has been affecting. You know, they're losing business, they're losing roles, they're losing careers and things like that. Great. And I don't mean great as in what they get, but you should have known better when you're doing something illegal like that, that it's going to cost you something in the long run. But off of them, let's talk about their husbands. Now, William H. Macy and Felicity Hoffman are married. Now, you hear about Felicity Hoffman being detained and William H. Macy being a witness for the prosecution. So does that mean he's going to testify against his wife? And does it mean that she had an option to do the same thing and not be charged? What does that mean? I don't understand why he's not being charged as well. Because he was, uh, he should be at least charged as a co-conspirator of this um, situation. That's one. And Lori Lofton, her husband is Massimo, you know, the Massimo brand of clothing from Target. Huge brand, popular brand, and popular for a minute. Now... He hasn't been detained, but Lori Laughlin has been. Why is that? Why are we coming down only on the mothers of these, well, these two mothers, opposed to coming out on the entire um, parent, parental relationship, mother and father? That I don't understand. That I don't quite comprehend. But okay, let's move past that. How about talking about all the other CEOs and people that are involved in this scandal. Let's name them so we can know what companies they work for so we can see if they're going to lose their jobs, if they're going to lose business, if they're going to lose livelihoods and things like that as well. Because this is a RICO case. This is a crime. And this is a major situation. So of course we know that Felicity Hoffman and Lori Laughlin is going to lose careers and jobs and money things like that. But let's see if these other CEOs and these other people go. Fucker. Let's see if these other um, CEOs and presidents of companies and things like that are going to lose business and their rep reputation as well. Because all we're hearing about are the two um, actresses who was caught up in this scandal. How about the other people that's caught up in this scandal as well? Let's put their names out there. Let's see what's going on with them. Let's find out what's happening with them. Now let's talk about the kids. I've seen Several people like TMZ and things like that say, oh, well, these kids don't know. They shouldn't lose anything. It should all be the parents. Oh, no. These kids are just as privileged as these parents th think they are. They've been told they were special all their life and not realizing that they're only special to their parents. No one else in this world gives a fuck about them. I don't care if you are the child of someone um, wealthy or someone who has money. They have nothing to do with anything. You should have the same responsibilities and same aptitude to be a person of good standing in the community as someone who doesn't have money, if not more so, because you have been blessed with more opportunities than someone of lower income, you know, and you have this Olivia Jade person on her YouTube channel with over 2 million followers or about 2 million followers was not, people are saying, oh, it's sad that she's losing her contract with Sephora. So, you defrauded um, USC to get in. You know you wasn't on a rowing team. You know you had never touched water but to take a bath or a shower. You know that you were taking pictures to show that you were this elite athlete when you never touched a um, boat or anything other than to get on someone else's yacht. You should get dragged. And then they say, oh, well she, well, she had to drop out of school because she was getting bullied. No, bitch, you weren't getting bullied. You were getting called out for being a fraud. This whole word of bullying 
it's so ridiculous now that everyone thinks that just because someone says they don't like you or call you out on your nonsense that you're being bullied. No, you and your parents defrauded the USC admissions board in order for you to get in. That's not bullying when someone calls you out on it. When you get caught doing a crime, that's not um, bullying. It's called fraud on your part and your parents' part. So therefore, someone should call you out on it. And someone call you out on campus, oh well, they do. Because the videos are surfacing where you're saying you don't even like school. You're just there to party and for the college experience. And for that, you and your family should pay the price. And let us know how that experience is happening. How that experience is going for you. See if you're going out of town or out of state or out of country for your YouTube channel at that point. Other than going to hiding. Nothing about you is special. You're mediocre at best. All these kids are. Because if you wasn't, you would be able to get into a prestigious college, especially with your family's name, without them paying for it. And we all know about legacies was not like I made a video about legacies was not in a prestigious college experience, which means if you have a family member that went to this college or went to this oh that was a uh, member of this sorority or fraternity, you're pretty much a shoe in of getting into that prestigious college or that um, sorority or that um, sorority or fraternity. But clearly. You are mediocre at best, like I said, if you need your parents to cheat their way into getting you into this prestigious college, even with all the money you have and your name. Either your grades wasn't good enough, or you didn't do enough to be good enough to get into a road into these schools. And for that, not only should you be kicked out of school, your credentials taken away from you was not, you should be held legally responsible for, which means serve some jail time. If you were a person of color, they would do that for you. They wouldn't care. Like the young lady in Florida who scored higher on her um, SATs than she did, well, significantly higher on her SATs than she did during her PSATs. And they accused her of cheating because she's a minority. But yet, Felicity Hoffman's daughter can score 400 points higher on an SATs than she did on her PSATs, and they think that was normal. Explain that to me. And people say, oh, the kids shouldn't be at fault for what their parents did. The kids knew they were dumb as hell, dumb as a bag of rocks. You know that. You know who you are. You know that you're not smart. You know that you can't score 400 points more on a PSA on your SATs than you did on your PSATs without some type of um, finagling and maneuvering around that. You know you are on a sports team. You know who you are. You know that you're dumb as hell. It is what it is. They need to be held just as responsible as their parents are. All of them. Not just the two celebrities that been all over the news, but every all the other 30, was it 35 in total? All the other 33 people that was held to that as well. It makes absolutely no sense that they think that these kids should be held, not held responsible for their own actions. Come on now, have some integrity. Have some, what, what a lot of these prestigious schools have? An honor code? Isn't that a um, break of the honor code? Isn't that a blemish for the honor code that these prestigious institutions have. It's funny how they want to hold some hold other people towards this honor code when they can't even hold their own students or their own kind to it. Just ridiculous. And to these people who's and to all these people who's losing things, I won't say good for you, but you should know you never win when you're playing dirty in my Nene Nick voice. <laughs> you can never win when you're playing dirty. You know, it makes no sense. Because you can just walk by and get by through life, you know, defrauding people, um, not paying taxes or not taking tests that you're supposed to take in order to get into these prestigious universities. Being able to just take a picture and have your uh, face Photoshop on a body of an athlete and they let you in. Come on now. Stop.
thinking that you're above the law or the rules don't apply to you. Because sooner or later, they're going to apply to you. Sooner or later, you're going to get caught doing what, I mean, saying, doing what it is that you're doing wrong. Not everyone's going to look the other way when you defraud them, when you do something that you're not supposed to do. But that's just my little take on this situation that's going on right now. As I always say, love yourself first. Love someone else. Respect yourself. Respect someone else. If you like what I have to say in this content on this video, feel free to look, go to my channel and subscribe, like, comment, and share. Once again, this is Food Junkie. Until next time, peace.